Okay, in this video, I will walk you through the creation of all the Snowflake related resources for setting up Matillion Lab. Now, Matillion, as we all know, will be pointing to Snowflake and it will be executing all the queries on the Snowflake warehouse as well as it will be loading the data into Snowflake, where, Snowflake databases. So we need uh, these list of resources to be ready in our Snowflake and uh, uh, that's where we will start the configuration of uh, Metillion pointing to Snowflake. We need database, warehouse, schema, roles, then a user, stage, and file format. Okay, so let me take you to Snowflake console and get these things ready one by one. I'm in Snowflake console and I have a couple of queries uh, created uh, earlier, so I will be using that. So, first thing, like I will be creating the databases. And for creation of the databases, I would uh, be using system admin because ideally the system admin role should be the owner of all the databases. So let's ensure that you are currently using the system admin. And then uh, we have uh, three databases. So dev, test and PRD. So dev, dev test, prod, each, uh, uh, we will be having three databases for each of the environment. Let's click on, let's run one, this query one by one and once you create these on the navigation tree you should be able to see these dev test and pro databases ready and you can run this query also to see whether all the databases got created or not so this show databases like and then the pattern okay then uh, you can create uh, databases next is uh, to define the privilege so there should be the privilege on the databases to the role snowflake role and uh, for this i will have to create the snowflake role first so let me go to the snowflake cre role creation query and any role that we create in snowflake should be created by user admin or security admin so i am switching the role to user admin and let me create all of these roles one by one Developer role is for the development and uh, the admin role is for administration of the database and warehouse. So once these roles are created, right, let's uh, have the privileges in place for these roles. So all privileges on the database to admin roles and it says that uh, this is not existing training DB. So why I'm getting this error because currently I'm user admin. I should be running all of this query using sysadmin. User admin is just for creation of the role, creation of user, role to role mapping, and user to role map. If you have these four activities, you can use user admin. Else, for all the databases related activities, you would be using system admin. So let's switch the role to system admin. We have it here, sysadmin. And uh, let's run the privileges. And then uh, we will be granting the users create schema privilege to the developer so that uh, schema owner developer will be the schema owner and developers will be able to access that. So let me do this. Okay, the mapping role to role mapping. Okay, this is done. Let's uh, create the warehouses. So we would need three warehouses for each of the uh, you know environments. And we have three warehouses ready. Now let's grant the privilege on the warehouse to roles. So all privilege on the warehouse to our uh, admin roles, and then operate and users role uh, uses privilege to the developer. Operate will allow the developer to stop and start the warehouse, and uh, uh, all privileges will allow it to modify. Okay. Good. Um, next. Uh, is the user creation role is also done next is uh, so here what we are doing is we are mapping the role to role so developer will be mapped under admin so that anything that a developer do admin will have the access to it so let's run this query prod developer to prod admin for this again i will have to switch the role to user admin because user admin can manage this role to role mapping here I'm doing uh, what happened? PRD admin. 
does not exist test does not exist or not authorized uh, let me check that so user admin has created these rules oh okay okay there is a miss here so it should be prd underscore mat underscore admin underscore mat underscore mat and let's run this prod developer so prod underscore mat test underscore mat and dev underscore mat now it should be mapped correctly so this way we have mapped the developer to admin but now the admin should be mapped to sysadmin which is your uh, account uh, specific role so dev mat admin should be mapped to sysadmin dot map should be mapped to sysadmin so likewise I have this mapping done okay and now when I click on show grants this will validate that whether the granting is successfully done or not so here if I just uh, say uh, you know this role is granted by sysadmin to sysadmin okay so now let's create user I will be creating the user here for uh, Metalion so I will say mat hyphen okay so sf underscore mat underscore user okay password i'm keeping this passphrase as password as of now default role then default namespace and default warehouse with this the user will get created and now the user should have the access to the uh now the user should have the access to all the roles right so this particular user should have access to actually the admin and developer also so i don't have to grant developer role to this user if i grant the admin role to the user developer role will also be granted because developer is below admin now right mm -hmm. so i just have to run that uh, uh, you know this sf underscore mat underscore this uh, mat user right it should be user and with this now sf underscore mat underscore user is having the access to all the required databases we will do a quick testing of it okay quick testing of this we will do um, and, and and for this testing purpose we would need this url so in metalin also when you do the configuration you would need the account name an account name is something that you can extract from the url so this is your url just remove https colon double slash from here and then remove dot snowflake computing dot com all of this now you get this is your account name so this is your snowflake account, account name all right and this is what you will be using in material to set up all right so we will be posting another video of setting up this uh, in uh, Metilene, but before that, uh, uh, you know, let's uh, log in using the user which we created and see whether this user is able to access all the roles and not or not. So for that, we already have the URL. What we need is the username and password. Password is this, and SF Mat user is the. Let me log out and uh, here wait 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 i don't need to forget the password i already know the password so here i will put the password sf underscore mat underscore uh, user login so this confirms the authentication now it is taking us to the snowflake uh, page and here i will skip all of these right and here if you see as dev mat developer is coming by default because while creation of the user I set this as the default role and here also it is coming as default role right so if I switch the role 
you see you see using this particular role dev mat developer i am able to see the dev only dev database the moment i switch this to test role uh, like let's let's a prod role right so i am able to see the prod i'm able to select the prod warehouse prod database and the schema is not created yet so you see this this way we have three environments and three separate role may accessing those environments so unless i give the access of this role to any user user will not be able to access this environment database and all um, now i want to create in dev metalian i want to create one stage okay because database warehouse schema role user all three creation is done now we are left with stage and file format so let's create a stage in the dev click on create and uh, stage is basically a, you know set of a kind of you know definition so stage i will not be able to create unless i create a schema because stage comes under schema and we don't have any valid schema already ready for this particular user so i will go to schema and i will create a schema here saying uh, uh, let's say dev schema finish and now i should be able to create this stage so click on create and click on s3 next here you give the name Okay, so I will give a name to this stage. Let's say so for every stage we can, uh, you know, uh, there are two types of stage, internal and external. So this is S3 related stage. So I will get, I will give, uh, you know, ext underscore S3, um, and then I will say demo, and then STG. Okay, so STG is the type of the object. We always use type of the object in the suffix. And uh, this uh, ext is for the external stage. We can easily identify this is an external stage on S3. Then select this schema, and then this is the URL, right? So this URL, how do I get? I will go to my S3 bucket, and I will select the folder which I want to use as the staging area for my S3. So I will select this inbound, this inbound as the staging area. I will click on copy this S3 URI and bring it here. Okay, so you see S3 colon double slash and then your bucket name and the folder name. You can skip the folder name. If you skip the folder name, just limit it to your bucket name. You can access everything inside that bucket. But keeping it confined to one folder is making it more secure and making it more kind of, you know, your S3 bucket um, uh, uh, shared kind of storage for other applications as well, not only for Snowflake. Then it is asking for access key ID and secret key. So access key ID and secret key, I have it here. And you, if you try to use the same access key and secret key, it will not work because I'm going to delete this. Uh, this is only for the demo purpose. And then I will click on finish. With this, the stage is created. And who is the owner of the stage? Dev. Mad developer, I was expecting this role to be the owner so that other higher roles can easily have the access. There is no need of transferring the ownership. And uh, next is creating the file format. So I need to create two file formats basically. One file format for CSV with header because by default, if we do not select CSV or if we do not select any format, right? By default, we will pick CSV without header. So if unless we have any certain specific change, why to create a specific file format? So I am going ahead with, uh, uh, you know, file format. I will keep it at the end. This is C for CSV underscore uh, header underscore FF. Okay. And I will use this schema file format CSV. And in the header, I will keep it one. So that while using this file format, it is understood that we have to skip the header while loading the data. And click on finish. 
and I will also create one file for format for JSON because we would be using that in our activities. So JSON underscore demo underscore FF and just change the type to JSON and rest keep everything as default. Click on finish. So we have two file formats and one stays ready. Now when we come here in the worksheet and let's change the role to dev because we have created it using dev developer. Select the warehouse, select the database and schema select dev, right? Now once you have the context setup correctly done, here you can write a command saying show stages. This will give you the list of stages. And now you see that we have the stage that we created and also here is the URL. So sometime when you are not sure that whether my stage is pointing to which location, just run this show stage and here you would get this detail, right? Also there is something called describe stage and you give the name of this stage and anywhere if you use the name of this stage it should be followed by the prefix at the rate. Uh, okay this uh, is incorrect name unexpected so this is the stage definition um, and uh, if you want to change anything like you can use alter stage for making the change likewise you can say so file formats and uh, in this now if you run the command you see that we have two file formats and file format options are here right so all of these you haven't defined but this is getting picked by default with the default property but all of these could be changed using alter file format option okay so with this now we are ready with our database warehouse file format uh, stage and uh, schema right and role user so all of the things that is required for starting up with the material is ready we are good to start so in the next video, we will be doing the setup of Metalian project where we will use the AWS credential and Snowflake credential, right? So thank you so much. See you in that next video.